Hello and welcome to today's Open Heavens Re Reflection. My name is Tony Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family based in Luton in Bedfordshire. Today we are reflecting on the topic, the habitation of the Lord, the habitation of the Lord. And our text is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 97, I read verse 10 and verse 11. You who love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is soon for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Our memory verse is taken from Job chapter 8 verse 6. If you were pure and upright, surely now he would awake for you and prosper your rightful dwelling place. Hallelujah. Our reflection for today. Do you know that the best place to be is in the habitation of the Lord? This is because it is the place where you can have access to all the full blessing of knowing the Lord. Dwelling in God's presence is the best way to be in the habitation of the Lord. And the most salient point which can enhance our continual presence in God's habitation is only living. Psalms 15, the first two verses says, Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle? Who may dwell in your holy hill? He who walks uprightly and walks righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. After having access to the tabernacle of God, we can even make it our dwelling. Psalms 91 states what it means to dwell there and the benefits thereof. In fact, let's consider that psalm. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will see of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the harrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your sides and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Why? Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample on the foot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on earth, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Where else do you want to dwell other than the habitation of God? But you know one thing? The choice is yours today. Choose which one you want to be. Action point. Search the scripture and find out all that you must do to be able to abide in the habitation of the Lord. May the Lord bless you until I come your way again. Shalom.